welcome back. In the last video, you learned about Rust and why it is a good choice to make. In summary, you learned that Rust provides safety, speed, and concurrency as a package without sacrificing on any of them. In this video, we're going to focus on how to set up the tools that we need to be able to write and build Rust applications. The first tool that you need is a test editor, which is basically a place where you write your source code. And for this course, we're going to use Visual Studio Code. You don't necessarily have to install Visual Studio Code, but for consistency with what I will be demonstrating in the videos, it will be good if you can download VS Code and install on your system. And so you go to code.visualstudio.com and then you download for your specific operating system. That is it about the test editor. You come back to the test editor and install some plugins that will help us to get some code completion and intelligence and code navigation. But for now, let's go back to how to actually get Rust installed on our computer. Now, to be able to compile Rust code, you need the Rust compiler. At least you need the Rust compiler. And the creators of Rust have done a very good job by creating another tool called Rust App. So that is such a cool name. Basically, it helps you to Rust App. You get up and running with Rust. And so when you use the script that they are showing on the site, basically you go to rustapp.rs and you copy this command that they want you to execute on your terminal. And this is going to install the Rust toolchain on your computer. And a toolchain is just a set of tools for building Rust code for a supported target architecture. Rust supports multiple architectures. And when I talk of a target architecture, I'm talking of a combination of operating system and a processor. And if you are using Rust in an environment where there is no operating system, also known as bare metal, then you are able to cross-compile for some target um, processes out there. So let's set up our Rust. I have already copied this. I'll come and open um, my terminal. So whichever operating system you are using, um, it is similar for Linux and Mac operating system. So I am using a Mac operating system here. I'll make another video to show how to get it done. On a Windows operating system so I'm basically just going to paste the command that I copied from rustapp.org and it's going to start a process it will print this information which you have to read and then it's going to tell you what it is going to do okay so it says one proceed with installation two, customize installation and three cancel installation of course we want to proceed so I'm going to hit one and enter and at this point it is going to download a few components and install them on my computer and because this takes some time I'm going to pause and I'll continue once the installation is completed okay so it was faster than I thought and so now it has finished installing successfully and it is showing us some information which is important for us to read if we want to start using Rust without restarting our computer. So it says Rust is installed now. Great. To get started, you need cargo, um, Cargo's bin directory in your path, blah, blah, blah. Basically, it is installed, but our current terminal session will not be able to find where, like, will not be able to locate where Rust is installed unless we do this we source this so basically i'm just going to copy paste it in the same terminal session and i'll hit enter with that then i can check if rust is installed properly by just typing rust up and once you see these information printed out there it is telling you that rust is installed correctly on our system so this is what we needed to do to get Rust set up. The next thing that we have to do is to install the Rust 
extension in Visual Studio Code or whichever test editor you are using, I am sure you can find an extension to help you. But like I said, for consistency, let us all stick to using VS Code. So in VS Code, you just open the extensions and you search for Rust. And this is what you want to install, the Rust programming language. And this provides um, Rust support in Visual Studio Code. So click on install and that is it. This is not all that has to be installed in Visual Studio Code, but once we start writing Rust code, Visual Studio Code will pop up if there are further extensions or tools that needs to be installed to get it running properly. So thank you very much for watching this and I will see you in the next video where we actually start writing our first Rust applications.